blessed day, students, praying that you all are in good health, safe and sound in your own home. I am really glad that you still find time to listen to this video lesson, and that is highly appreciated. Anyways, today is another day to learn more about practical research, quantitative research in your case. So, let us start. Today's lesson is Definition of Terms in Research At the end of this module, you are expected to discuss conceptual and operational definitions, to cite the importance of defining the unfamiliar terms in your study, and three, write the definition of terms in your research paper. To complete the research, it is imperative to unlock terms used in the paper, especially if there are jargons used. The definition of terms is just like the dictionary of your research paper. The difference is it includes only the terms used in your study. This means that you have to take note of the words you've used, especially the ones specific only to your field, formulas, acronyms, etc. The definition of terms section will help clarify the purpose and direction of the study being conducted. An important part of writing a research paper is to give definitions of key terms. There are two types of definitions. Conceptual definition is the universal definition that is accepted worldwide. Additionally, the meaning of the term is mostly taken from the dictionary. Second type of definition is the operational definition, where the definition is based on the observed characteristics and how it is used in the study. These are the few principles to keep in mind in making definition of terms. One, Make sure that in the definition, you focus on what something is, not just what its effects are or what it is used for. 2. Extend the definition so that it exactly covers what you want the reader to understand. Never assume that if the term appears to be quite common, everyone knows what it means and do not overload your definition. 3. It is helpful to supplement the definition were appropriate to clarify further the meaning of the term. 4. You are advised not to invent a definition for any term which has a clear and accepted definition in place. However, the term should be defined as used in the study or research or within the context or the content being discussed. 5. Finally, once you establish a definition, so not change its meaning in the middle of the article or the paper. Here are examples of the definition of terms. For the bit, the concept of definition, to strike a person or an animal repeatedly and violently to hurt or injure them, typically with an implement such as a club or whip. For the operational definition, to steer using a fork, whisk, or a beater. Another example, canvas. For its conceptual definition, a strong, coarse, unbleached cloth made from hemp, flax, cotton, or a similar yarn used to make items such as sails and tents and as a surface for oil painting. Its operational definition is a piece of cloth, mostly white, used as a medium for oil painting. Next example is hybrid. For its conceptual definition, it is a thing made by combining two different elements or a mixture. For the operational definition, it is a car with a gasoline engine and an electric motor, each of which can propel it. Next, insider. Conceptual definition. A person within a group or organization, especially someone private to information and available to others. Operational definition. A person the researchers refer to and trusted when they need information from specific organization. 
Leverage. Conceptual definition. The exertion of force using a lever or an object used in the manner of a lever. Operational definition. The ratio of a company's loan capital or debt to the value of its common stock or equity. Mirror. Conceptual definition, a reflective surface, now typically of glass coated with a metal amalgam that reflects a clear image. Operational definition, connecting a device, usually from smartphone to a television, without the use of a cable wire. Fax. Conceptual definition, a person or persons. Operational definition, shorter version for a person or persons and mostly used when referring to a cost or value of a package. Traveling, conceptual definition, make a journey, typically of some length or abroad. Operational definition, in basketball it is taking more than two steps while holding the basketball without dribbling it. That ends our lesson today. Thank you for listening and see you next time.